Almost 11,000 people here. This is great. Welcome, everyone. I'm so honored to be here in front of all of you. Got a few things I'd like to share with you. First of all, you know, when I think about how things have evolved with the migration from building cloud data centers using traditional ORV3 racks and a power envelope of well under 100 kilowatts to AI data centers with expectations of hitting one megawatt and more, that is well underway. At the center of this transformation is the OCP community, all of you, which is why this year, the theme of the OCP Global Summit is leading the future of AI. The fact that there are in the vicinity of 11,000 people here in San Jose for OCP Global Summit speaks volumes to the role of the OCP community in leading the way. Yesterday evening, we heard George talk about how the Foundation's objective has always been to cover the entire open data center ecosystem, covering IT as well as physical data center infrastructure and facilities, applying the unique open and collaborative environment of the OCP community to deliver specifications and community-driven standardizations. And most importantly, to take this all the way to product, very unique in what we do. The challenge in front of the community has evolved over the 15 years since the foundation came into existence. The current challenge is to help building at scale AI clusters and the infrastructure that houses them. As the focus has moved from cloud to AI data center, we have experienced a large increase in the number of physical infrastructure projects and work streams. For example, we recently launched a coolant distribution unit project and a facilities level power distribution project, uh, sort of marking the evolution. Now, in response to learnings from the OCP Open Systems for AI initiative and the workshop series that we've been carrying out throughout the year. In addition to a new open letter call for collaboration, championed by Google, Meta, and Microsoft, and joined by so many others in the last couple of days, I am pleased to announce a new Open Data Center for AI strategic initiative. Really, the intent here is to increase efforts on key data center infrastructure issues, power, cooling, mechanical, and management telemetry. This expands the OCP Open System for AI umbrella initiative. The mandate for the Open Data Center for AI strategic initiative is to develop standardizations for data center infrastructure, allowing different AI accelerators to be deployed as flexibly as traditional compute in today's cloud data centers. This is a new effort. Please come and join. All are welcome. Let's take a closer look at the Open Data Center for AI Strategic Initiative focus areas. Power, one of the key areas, is about standardizing the interfaces for high voltage DC systems and defining acceptable thresholds and standards between utilities and data centers. Cooling. Here we'll be looking at coolant distribution units, the design and deployment of them, looking at standardizing the screening and commissioning processes, and eventually working towards a common community-led design. This effort will build upon the Deschutes specification from Google that was talked about yesterday evening, with five prominent OCP members already committed to carry out this work. And I'm so pleased to announce that in the few days that the Google specification dropped, we have over five CDU-related SKUs added to the OCP marketplace. When it comes to mechanical efforts, when we think about the data hall, we have to think about standardizing key physical infrastructure parameters, rack dimensions, aisle widths, weight-bearing capacity, and if we look to the future, it'd be, we would like to see enabling robotic-assisted operations. When it comes to telemetry, which we all know is important for management, the community will extend the current efforts 
to building systems, working on defining standard protocols for physical systems management telemetry, and to eventually enable autonomous control systems to coordinate data center power consumption and load fluctuations. So very exciting new effort that's getting started. Now, we talked a lot about the new dimensions for OCP yesterday, and I did that this morning. The work of the community also continues inside the data hall. All workloads are complex, and AI ones are even more so. And to achieve maximum performance requires significant investment in AI cluster system design, integration, and configuration, and testing, as we heard from Caruso yesterday. To help standardize AI cluster configurations, the community with Broadcom and Celestica as co-leads has launched the Open Cluster Design for AI Strategic Initiative. Its mandate is to develop AI cluster designs, which are detailed enough to provide a technical basis for procurement and deployment. Scale and workload-specific designs for what we call pods will be developed where pods can be combined to form complete and larger clusters. Pod designs will cover selection and configuration of scale-out, scale-up networking, including cabling solutions. And again, we saw some of the pictures yesterday which tell us that those cabling solutions are non-trivial. They will cover also both air-cooled and liquid-cooled solutions, tapping for different markets. The resulting guidelines and best practices are intended to span small, enterprise, neo-cloud, and hyperscale deployment sizes. We've had many contributions and new work streams launched in the last six months due to the influence of the Open Systems for AI initiative. George mentioned some yesterday, shoot, Diablo, Clemente, the list goes on. I wanted to circle back onto an important work effort that was announced at the OCP APAC Summit last August, in case people missed it. The optical circuit switching work stream, co-led by volunteers from OCP members like Pronix and Momentum, with many initial participants, including Coherent, Google, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. Open circuit switching leverages photonic technology to route data optically. Google extensively uses optical circuit switching technology in their data centers. And this work stream will allow the others to follow when building AI clusters. Due to the standardized interfaces and configuration APIs that will be brought forward, enabling easy integration of optical circuit switches with SDN controllers and with network management platforms. OK, been a lot of talk about this $295 billion number that George mentioned yesterday. This is a result of a impact study that we commissioned with IDC. And it's really, really been a big change since last year. This five-year forecast is a dramatic increase from the 75 billion from last year. Four times. Very unusual for a forecast to change that much. I've already had questions about, hmm, how come such a big change? Where's, where's is the reality in this one? And I can assure you that last six months, the IDC analysts collaborating with the OCP team has done the due diligence to speak to vendors, people deploying the equipment, and looked at every nook and cranny and corner we could to come up with the best estimate possible. No, no one has a crystal ball. Five-year forecasts can change, admittedly. But to reinforce what this means, for 2029, more than 25% of the spend for servers, the largest segment in this forecast, is going to be on OCP-recognized equipment. That means that OCP's this community designs will live on for a tremendously long time. OK, almost done. One more data point, then the heavy lifting is over. 295 billion, the predominant use case runaway use case for 2029, AI. We knew that, but now we know how big, 155 billion. And we also see how the other use cases line up against it. They tend to start to pale by comparison. 
So that helps us understand where we uh, set our sails and what's our North Star, at least for now. I'm out of time, and I just want to say in my closing, we have some great keynotes following me, as George said earlier. There's a couple of announcements sprinkled in them that I want you to pay special attention to. One, ARM is going to make an announcement regarding a contribution to the open chiplet economy that dramatically changes the game for OCP. Two, uh, Broadcom is going to talk a little bit more about scale up on Ethernet that is going to be done at OCP. Again, really important that this is coming to the OCP community. And last, we have Denver DataWorks and Scaleway are going to talk a little bit about a new work effort, a new work stream that is just launched at OCP. But with that, thank you very much. Enjoy the summit. We'll see you 